हेलो एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल दिस इज़ निशा कुमारी फैकल्टी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी निर्मला कॉलेज रांची टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द रिप्रोडक्टिव स्ट्रक्चर्स इन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स और एनजीओस पॉम्स रिप्रोडक्शन इज अ फंडामेंटल फीचर ऑफ लाइफ which enables the continuity of the species generation after generation sexual reproduction is the process of formation and fusion of haploid gametes resulting in the production of a diploid zygote that grows to produce a new individual or offspring all of us are familiar with the flowers because they are the most beautiful structures in nature which are full of variety shapes color scent nectar etc they are also the objects of aesthetic ornamental social religious and cultural value for angiosperms flower is the site of sexual reproduction or we can say flowers are the reproductive organs in flowering plants flowers may be bisexual or unisexual bisexual flower has both male reproductive part that is stamens and female reproductive part that is carpels in the same flower whereas unisexual flower has either stamens or carpels now let's see the longitudinal section of a typical flower which shows all the floral parts or appendages along with male and female reproductive organs in this figure you can clearly see the different structural parts with their respective positions flower arises laterally or terminally in the axil of small leaf like structure called bract which itself arises from the node pedicel is known as the stalk to which a single flower is attached a typical flower has four whorls or four floral appendages arranged successively around the receptacle or thalamus thalamus is the expanded portion of the stalk androecium and gynoecium are called essential floral whorls or floral parts because they directly take part in reproduction while calyx and corolla take part in reproduction indirectly so they are called non essential or accessory floral whorls stamen male reproductive organs of a flower are collectively called androecium or androecium is the collection of stamens each stamen has two parts anther and filament anther is a bilobed structure present at the top of the filament it bears four pollen sacs in these pollen sacs pollen grains are produced filament is sterile long thread like structure or stalk that carries food and water to anther carpel female reproductive organs are collectively called gynoecium or gynoecium is the collection of carpels a carpel consists of stigma style and ovary stigma is attached to style and receives pollen grains during pollination pollination is the process of transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma 
Style forms the neck of the carpel to which stigma is attached. Ovary is the swollen hollow base of the carpels that consist of one or more ovules. Ovules will give rise to seeds after fertilization and ovary will give rise to fruit after fertilization. Therefore, seeds and fruits are the products of sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Non-essential whorls in a flower are calyx and corolla. Calyx is the outermost whorl which consists of green leaf-like structures called sepals. Sepals protect the flower in bud condition. Corolla is the collection of petals. The petals are large, brightly colored and may have fragrance. Petals help in pollination by attracting insects. In this way, we have studied the floral parts in a typical angiospermic flower. In our next video, we will study the pre-reproductive structure and events in flowering plants. Thank you.